All right, hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today we're in UDK. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how to basically animate multiple objects together using the attachment feature in the actual object properties. So right here we kind of got like a mock-up turret, kind of like how we had before in that old video. Uh, we have two, two barrels, two rockets, two particles, and just one main body. And if we play, we can watch the body moves and the turrets move and spin and they shoot rockets at their location. And then at the end it stops. So we have basically this object moving, these barrels moving with it, as well as these uh, rockets and particles moving along with the body. And then independently we have uh, these turrets rotating. And then also independently we have uh, these rockets and particles firing out. So let me show you the Kismet. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, as soon as the level's loaded, we have this main animation here with the main turret body. So with this main turret body, all we animate is the main body itself, and everything goes along with it because they're attached. And then with that, we also have additional uh, matinees here. Uh, this one's for the actual turrets. They just do, uh, in one second they rotate 90 degrees. And there's also an event track uh, at the one second mark that tells it to fire the rockets. And here's the remote event for that. And then here's the actual animation. Where they just kind of fire out. And that's really much it. So we'll start this from scratch. So what we're going to do first, uh, basically, uh, before you start anything, you go should go into World Properties. And just change the game type to UT game for both default game type and then game type for PIE or play and editor. Just to make sure you got like the, the, the normal HUD and everything, just so it doesn't look too weird for you. Now what we do, uh, this is our main body. So the, attached to the main body are a couple of things. Uh, these two turrets are attached to it, and then these two rockets are attached to it. And in order to attach it, what you do, you grab the objects you want attached. So, uh, holding control, left click will allow you to select multiple objects. With these four objects, select these are the only ones are going to be attached to this main body. If we hit F4, we bring up their properties. And then here's a lock right here. If you left click on that, that will lock this panel here. So if you switch objects, it still has those selected in their properties. So now with the main body selected, in the attachment section here, there's a base option. Right now it is attached to intro vector 2, but we'll hit that again, the green arrow, just so it selects it. And then you do want to make sure hard attached is checked, just so they're hard attached to the object. And when you bring these objects in, they come in as static meshes. So we want to make sure that every single object is an intro vector, uh, excluding the particles, because they don't need to be intro vectors. They can't really be converted that way. Um, so you just right click on an object and then say it's a static mesh actor. You right click on it, convert, making a mover. And you can also just give a collision by going to its properties and go to collision block all because when it's uh, converted to an interfactor, it uh, gives a no collision by default. And then if you want, with these particles, just select them both, hit F4. Uh, you want to make sure auto activate is uh, checked, I mean unchecked, just so they're not automatically turned on. And then basically uh, you can also change their physics if you want from physics none to physics interpolating just so you don't get an error in matinee or anything like that. And then each of these particles is actually attached to each individual rocket. So if we hit F4 on one emitter, hit the lock here, and then select the rocket, go down to attached, and we'll just select that. And the same goes with this one, except with the other rocket. 
And you also want to make sure heart attached is checked. So now everything is attached to one another. Um, so before we start animating, I'll just show you what each object is. So the turret in the content browser is s underscore vh underscore cicada underscore dmg underscore zero one f. Uh, those are the turrets. And then the main body is right here, the s underscore vh underscore cicada underscore damage zero two f. And then each individual uh, mesh here, these are also intervectors. Uh, these are just the default rocket launcher rocket. And then for the particles, they're the P underscore WP underscore rocket launcher rocket trail. So those are the assets that we're using, and I just have a default map set up, as well as those uh, world property changes and the uh, default game type and the game type for PIE. Uh, so now that we have everything attached to where it needs to be, uh, let's start animating. So our main event, so let's go to a new event, we'll do a level loaded. And then we'll set an activate delay, uh, just one second, just so we have a one second delay before everything starts going. Um, and the first thing we're going to animate is the main body, because the main body will then move the rockets, the particles, and the turrets. So let's left click on the turret body just so it's selected. Let's right click, let's do a new matinee. Let's do the loaded visible into the play, just so we don't forget. Double click on the matinee to open in here. And then we're going to right click, add new empty group, we're just going to call this turret main body. Right click on that, let's add a new movement track. And this whole animation is going to be 10 seconds long. So let's just uh, line everything up for 10 seconds here, both the red and green arrow here. And then with the movement tracks highlighted right here, uh, we're going to hit enter at the 10 second mark to key, it create a keyframe. Oh, we got to actually get 10 seconds. Here we go. Create keyframe. And we're just going to move that 10, 24 units. It should be far enough. And as you can see, when you move it, it doesn't look like anything went with it. But if you start to rewind the actual matinee here, you actually see them snap and attach. So now if you slide back and forth, you see everything move with it. So if you play this, everything's moving, which is exactly what we want. So now we got that working. We're going to actually work with a new matinee uh, to animate the turrets here. So let's hit, hold down M and left click, we'll create a new matinee. We're also going to put the loaded invisible into the play here. And double click on this matinee. Now this matinee is going to be focused on the turrets themselves. So let me rotate this. Just so they're going in the same direction. And it doesn't matter which one we grab here, we'll just go grab this first one. Let's right click on it, add new empty group. I'm just going to call this turret underscore zero one. Let's also right click on it, add new movement track. Now this one is going to be 1.5 seconds. Uh, but the actual keyframe we're going to put in is going to be at the one second mark. We're going to rotate this 90 degrees. Just so it rotates. And we can also click use quad Turning interpolation just for a smoother spin. And that's really it. Um, but we'll, before we uh, exit out of this matinee, let's right click on the turret 01. We're going to add a new event track. Uh, so at one second, this is where we want the actual turret to fire. So we're going to put a keyframe here with the event uh, option selected here. We're going to call this turret rocket fire. And that's all we need. So this matinee is done. So let's exit out of the matinee. Now in the actual matinee itself, there's some properties we're going to mess with. Uh, we want this to be looping. We also want to click on rewind on play and no reset on re rewind. What that will do is it will rotate 90, and then it will rotate 90, it will keep rotating 90 degrees in that one direction. Um, and since we have that set up in here, all we have to do is grab the other turret, right click on this purple pinkish link, add it to it, and now we have both turrets there. So now if we play an editor, we see them rotating together. And then they'll continue to rotate. 
Uh, one thing we forgot to do, we, uh, we'll do that at the very end, is to hide these rockets until we need them to be unhidden. Uh, but for right now, that doesn't really matter. Um, but the last uh, matinee we're going to do is the actual rockets firing. Uh, so it's going to be a third uh, matinee. Let's hold down M and left click. But let's also create a new uh, activate remote event just for this turret rocket fire. So when we create an a, a event inside the matinee, so right here, turret rocket fire event, in the actual matinee, it will actually give you an output for that event. And that way you can call it whenever you want. And it will get called every single time it hits that point in that matinee. So it, since this one's looping, every second of that loop, it's going to call this. So we're going to call this activate remote event. We're going to call this turret rocket fire. Now we need to create a new event and a remote event. We're going to copy and paste that name just so they recognize each other and we'll get a green check mark. Uh, this one still says an X so we'll delete it and undo it and then we'll get the green check. And then we're going to put this into play. And we know we want this matinee and we know it's going to be looping. So we're just going to check that automatically. Um, so let's go ahead. Um, what we're going to animate only is the actual rockets. They're the ones that actually are going to move. And the particles will go with them because they're attached. So let's double click on that matinee. Have one of those rockets selected. Let's right click on that, add new empty group, call this rocket fire. Add new movement track. We're going to make this animation 1.5 seconds as well. And at the one second mark, we're going to create a keyframe. And we're going to make this move about 2048 units. And then if we push it back, we actually see that particle effect here following it. Um, but there's good, since we had set the particles automatically to not be activated uh, at the start, we're going to have to toggle that. Um, so let's deselect that. Let's grab this particle. We're not going to move it. We're just going to create a new particle group. Let's just call this rocket particle. And right now the default option here for that is toggle. So at the very zero seconds, we're going to hit enter, we're going to turn it on. And then all the way at the one second, let's make sure we line that up. We're going to turn it off. And that will give us this green section. That's the section of time where that actual particle is playing. So one last thing we're going to do, at the rocket fire option, we're going to right click, create a new event track, and at the zero seconds we're creating the event, we're going to call this unfired rockets, and at the 1.5, or actually at the one second, we're going to call another event called high rockets. And that's all we need for this matinee. So we got these two together, um, and that's only on this left side, and luckily, with how everything is with this uh, setup, what we can really do is just grab each of these guys. So we'll grab the rocket, put it into this rocket fire option, and we'll take its particle, put it into this rocket particle section. And then if we go back, we actually see both these move together. So that's really great. Uh, so let's now go ahead and do unhide rockets and hide rockets. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab these two rockets. Right click, new action. It's under toggle, toggle hidden. We're going to unhide these rockets. Put them in here. I'm just going to drag this out a little bit. And then on the unhide rockets, we're going to copy and paste this basically and just hit hide. And now all we need to do is hit F4 with both these rockets selected. We'll just type in the word hidden. Click on that. So they're going to be hidden in game. And then last but not least, once this actual body turret finishes moving, uh, we want to stop the turrets from rotating. We want to stop that animation for the rockets. And we want to go ahead and destroy the actual rockets and the particles. So let's do new action, actor, Destroy and completed. We'll do that. Whoops. 
completed, goes into stop, completed, goes into stop, and then for destroy. <clears throat> Let's grab two parts as well with our rockets. So those four objects, we're going to destroy them at the end. And there we go. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so we have this matinee here for the main turret body. And when it's completed, it destroys our rockets and particles. Uh, right here we have the turrets matinee where they're rotating. And at a certain point of the uh, matinee, we call it a remote event. Uh, turret rock fire, which is right here, and this calls those rockets animating. And then at the beginning, it unhides the rockets, at the end, they hide them, and then it unhides it again, hides them after a second. Uh, so everything should be working, so let's play. There we go. And we can have. Uh, this one looping too, uh, just so it keeps playing. So it's a tune. Tune. No, keep going. And that way you can animate multiple objects together here and keep it nice and clean and concise. Uh, so this is a very simple example. Um, I had to do something like this like for a project I'm currently working on. I can't talk about it, but I had to implement a uh, main object with a bunch of attachments onto it and animate all of them together. Have you know turrets rotate, have things fire, have particles play, uh, things like that. Uh, I know, but doing it like this was the cleanest way that I, I was able to figure out. Um, so I hope you guys figure out a way to implement this in your uh, projects. Um, so definitely let me know if you think this video was helpful. Uh, let me know uh, your thoughts. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to this channel for more videos here. Uh, if you want to comment, let me know uh, your thoughts on this uh, example for Kismet and Matinee. Um, and also like the video, share it, and do what you need to do at that point. Um, but this is the end of this tutorial. It's a pretty quick one. So again, I hope you guys learned a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!